Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is Caroline. I'm back with a new video. So today's video, we are going to be doing this gorgeous full lace wig, top notch bun hairstyle, and this flawless um, soft makeup look. Um, this makeup look is really, it turned out really nice. I love the finish touch of this makeup look. But yeah, so we're going to get started. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit a notification bell. And you get notification whenever I post a new video so you don't get to miss it. Okay? But anyway, that is it, you guys. Um, keep on watching for this video. Alright y'all, so first let's jump into this wig. This is the box I received this wig in. It came in this um, black box um, with gold um, handwriting with this blue ribbon tie around the box. Um, the wig is from uh, Fresher Wigs. If I'm saying her name wrong, I will list the name in the description box. But this is the name um, of the company of Her Star Wigs, okay? Um, this is the box the hair came in. Inside the box came the wig, which is a curly wig. And then it came with the um, elastic bands. The elastic band with the hooks and the scraps were attached inside the wig. It also came with a little pamphlet giving you information and details about the wig. It also came with stocking caps and then it had a gift for you. Um, if you get the exterior wig um, from their website, they will give you 40% installation bonus. You will have to contact them and tell them about your install, I guess. And then we will give you the installation bonus. It's like a gift for you so if you want to take advantage of that you definitely can i will leave the links in the description box for um the exterior company all right straight out of the box you guys can see this wig was extremely extremely curly um the length of this wig is about 20 inches long this wig is one of the Swiss lace wig. It's a full lace wig, Swiss lace. Now, Swiss lace means it's just that the lace is so thin, it's breathable, it melts into your skin flawlessly. Um, it's a really, really nice type of lace that's very soft, easy to melt. And this is a full lace wig. As you guys, as you guys can see, this wig already comes um, fully bleached and um, customized so you don't have to bleach it. It also comes with the baby hair in the front of the wig. The lace is extremely thin. It's a breathable lace that you can wear to sleep in if you don't want to take off your wig. But this is also a full lace wig that you can wear on and off because it's also Blue this. It comes with both elastic band scraps attached in it that you can be able to take it on and off if you choose to every day or every night, wherever time you choose to put it on. So the wig is on the mannequin. I just want to show you guys how the wig looks. Um, you can see the baby hair all over the wig. Like I said, you can see how thin that lace looks on the mannequin. And like I said, this wig is a full lace wig. So you can get to part this wig anywhere you like. And you're going to get peel scalp all over the wig, okay? You can part it anywhere you like. That's the beauty of having a full lace wig. So next thing I did, I wanted to get rid of all that curls. So I went ahead and I shampooed and conditioned the wig. And then I used the purple shampoo to condition and comb out the wig just to get rid of some of that browsiness that the wig came with. So after washing the wig, this is how it looks on the mannequin. This is how the curls look. Very pretty. You can wear this wig just like that. But I wanted to do something different. Um, just put it up a little bit and style it differently. 
So the first thing I did after washing it, I went ahead and I took out few strands of baby hair all around the wig. And I used my eyebrow razor and I went ahead and I cut off um, the baby hair just to make them look shorter and more natural. All right, so after cutting the baby hair, so section of the wig, I just went from um, the front of the wig to the back. I went back with a straight uh, parting space. And then I came from ear to ear and made uh, another parting space. So I suctioned the wig off into four different sections. Um, so I have four different parts off the wig and this is how it looks after I part the wig off. Now for the two sections in the front I parted them into five different sections and did five braids in the front and two braids in the back. Um, starting off I went ahead and I used just regular water. I sprayed the wig down just to hydrate the curls. Then I went ahead and used my edge booster edge control i just slicked the um, bottom part of the hair down before i started braiding now for braiding this if it was on my head or if it was on somebody's hair it would probably um, be better but using a mannequin it was a struggle my mannequin head keep twisting um, i had to get it focused in the camera and then sis was just not um, working with me. She was just giving me a struggle. So I had to keep turning and twisting her head just so she can be focused in camera. So in the camera. So you guys will see me push around her hair a couple of times as I do the braid. Because she just wasn't having it with me. But this is um, pretty much how I achieved the entire braid. I did a total of five braids in the front and then I move on to the back and did another two braids in the back of the wig. So this is how the braids look in the front after um, braiding the entire front with the five braids. Um, you can see how nice it looks. Okay, this is a nice full lace swiss wig. So after that, I just move on to the back of the wig and I just did two braids, the two parts that I made, the two sections that I suctioned off in the beginning. I just braid both of them um, just single by themselves and I just pour them up to the rest of the braids. And that was pretty much how I achieved this gorgeous braided wig hairstyle um, um, with this full lace swiss wig. And you can see how nice that wig looks. And after cutting the extra lace off the wig, it was time to put the wig on. Um, you can see on the mannequin, the um, lace looks white and it looks fine. But I went ahead when I put my foundation on and I wore my tan stockings under the wig. I realized that the wig was a little bit still orange. It looks a little bit still reddish. Now, I did use my purple shampoo and conditioner on this wig, but I think what I should have done, and I'm telling you now, if you are going to get this wig to eliminate that um, orangeness, you're going to have to rub the lace a little bit. You're going to have to do it gently. I did not do mine gently because I was afraid that the lace was going to rip because the lace is so thin, but you're going to have to do the lace very gently when you use the purple shampoo and conditioner and you got to take your time with it that's the only way you will be able to get rid of all of the browsiness um, on the way but it still turned out um, nice so we're going to continue with the video and just move on with my makeup Show me all the 
All right, you guys, my hair is done. We're moving on to the makeup. I went ahead and fill in my eyebrows just to cut off some time in this video. Now we're just going to move on to um, cleaning the eyebrows up and getting my makeup done. Okay, so we're going to slay this face. We're going to beat this face. We're going to do our makeup, whatever way you want to call it. Let's get it, okay? I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Fallible um, Concealer. So I used a light concealer to clean up the top of my brows. Um, for the upper part of my brow, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail Ellie Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the color Fond. I'm going to use that to clean the top of my brows up. So I'm using a setting powder and I'm just going to set the concealer in place. Alright, so now that I have my brows on, my laser are base, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base. And this is going to go over my eye again. This is my actual base for my eyeshadow. Alright, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Morphine palette. This is the 3503. I'm going to be using this orange shade. And I'm going to be packing it in my crease. And this is going to be like my transition shade. It looks like a little bit of dark brownish reddish color. Okay, so next I'm taking this dark brown shade down here and I'm going to go over the harsh line of the um, dark brown. Alright, so I'm taking the P. Lewis again and I'm going to cut out the crease a little bit more. Alright, so for my lid, I'm going to take this um, matte white shade. It's not a white, but like a cream color shade. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Matte Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner. Then I'm going to add some mascara. This one is a Maybelline um, Snap Mascara. And then from lashes, I'm just using these lashes I got from a hair package. Alright y'all, so lashes are on. Okay, we're going to move on to... The face, I'm going to take my Sandex up out. Oh, chill. Alright, so we're going to move on to face. So for face, I'm going to be starting off with moisturizing my skin. This is the e.l.f. Um, Holy Hydration Face Cream.
Then I'm going in with my Becca Ever Matte Primer. Then I'm using my Melanie Mills Glam Body Radiance. Next, using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, it's an orange concealer, orange corrector. I'm going to conceal my dark circle. Um, I'm using my orange corrector from LA Girl to conceal all these dark circles underneath my eyes, girl. For foundation, I'm using two different foundations. I'm using the CoverGirl Matte True Blend. And I'm mixing it up with the Super Stay um, Foundation. Um, the True Blend is T80 and the Super Stay is from Maybelline is 356. I'm going to mix both together. For concealer, I'm going to be using two concealers. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal. I'm going to be using two concealers, the L'Oreal Infallible with the CoverGirl True Blend. For my contour, I'm going to be using this Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. I'm just going to use a smaller brush to um, blend out my contour on my nose. To set my highlight, I'm using the Fit Me Powder. This is in 310 Beige. And now I'm going to set my highlight. Um, a little bit of baking, not a whole lot of baking, just a little bit. But I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Banana Bread um, Loose Powder, Loose Setting Powder. And to set my contour, I'm using the Morphine um, Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm going to be using these two shades. I'm 
all right so moving back to the eyes I am going to be taking the same palette again that dark brown shade I'm going to mix it up And then I'm putting some mascara underneath my water line. Okay, so for blush, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match uh, blush. Now I'm going to spray my face with my Morphine Setting Spray. And for lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Lip Pencil. This is in Chestnut. Then I'm using the Maybelline Super Matte Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Loyalist 05. And for highlight, I'm using the Cover Girl True Blend um, Super Stunning Highlighter. Yeah. Do you guys see that? Hey. So this is the completed look of this matte pink and white soft makeup look um, and this um, full lace wig. As for the full lace wig, you can be able to part it anywhere you like. You can be able to braid it, twist it, and achieve as many hairstyles as you want. That's the beauty of having a full lace wig. I will leave all the um, information and links in the description box if you want to check this wig out. I will also be leaving all the products listed that I use on this makeup tutorial. I will leave them in the information box. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.